When I first started into the laser hobby, the acronyms and vocabulary killed me. I had no idea what a JPT was. Who was Rakus? What's MOPA? What I've done is I put together a series of tutorials that should aid you gain some of the vocabulary so you can make more intelligent decisions. Let's start with the first one. Rakus and JPT are prominent manufacturers of lasers and components in the fiber laser field, offering high quality laser products for industrial and scientific applications. Many brand name manufacturers use their components to build commercial and hobby fiber lasers. So if you were buying a laser and they said it has a JPT or Rakus power supply that is representative of the manufacturer. Rakus and JPT offer a wide range of fiber lasers with different power levels, wavelengths, and configurations, including continuous wave lasers, pulse lasers, and MOPA, Master Oscillator Power Amplifier Systems. Rakus and JPT are known for their reliable and cost-effective fiber lasers, which are widely used for applications such as laser cutting, welding, marking, engraving. Some laser professionals have a preference for one company over the other, but that would be a more detailed video. On to MOPA. MOPA stands for Master Oscillator Power Amplifier. In a fiber laser system, the MOPA configuration consists of two main components, the Master Oscillator, MO, and the Power Amplifier, PA. The master oscillator is the initial source of the laser beam. It generates the laser light with specific characteristics such as wavelength, coherence, and pulse duration. The MO typically produces low power output. The PA power amplifier boosts output sent from the MO, which boosts the power of the laser beam while maintaining its original characteristics. Say the same thing another way. PA is responsible for increasing the laser power to the desired level. Having the MOPA configuration offers several advantages. Flexibility in pulse. Characteristics. With a MOPA setup, you can independently control the characteristics of the laser pulses, such as pulse duration, repetition rate, and peak power. This flexibility is crucial in various applications, including material processing, micro-machining, and medical procedures. MOPA systems can generate high peak powers by amplifying the output from the master oscillator. This high peak power is beneficial for applications requiring precise material ablation or cutting. MOPA configurations allow for precise shaping of laser pulses, which is essential for controlling the interaction between the laser beam and the target material. This capability enhances processing efficiency and quality in applications such as laser marking and engraving. The MOPA architecture can improve the overall beam quality compared to conventional laser systems. This is because the master oscillator produces a high quality beam which is then amplified by the power amplifier while preserving its quality. This feature is advantageous for applications requiring high precision and tight focusing such as laser welding. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we earned your subscription, a like and a comment. That really helps us with the algorithm. Please come into Laser Freedom, our Facebook group. There's always somebody in there. There are a lot of people that know a lot more about lasers that also participate. Who wants to be the smartest man in the room and feel no trepidation about asking a question? This is not a manufacturer sponsored site. So any comment goes, you don't have to like the same thing I do. That's why we call it Laser Freedom. Awesome.